You have your model, a camera in the scene, and a white color for the override. Then you add a light over it with some floor and think this will do the natural obligations for nice renders, only to end up with bad-looking shots. Like it's cool, but the shadow makes this plain. So what's wrong? How you can take it from this to this? Well, the answer is AO, or what fancy people call it, ambient occlusion. Now AO, in a nutshell, is a rendering method to simulate the soft shadows that usually occur in cracks and corners of objects where the sun doesn't shine. I mean, there's no way those two parts are at the same brightness level. And you would think since Cycles is ray tracing, this should be fixed. Anyway, if we want to fix this, we can head to the white material we used in the material editor, then copy the diffuse in it, in my case it's the principled BSDF, and make it on dark shade, then mix the two into the material output. We can now add the ambient occlusion node to this and connect it to the mix factor, and immediately you will see quite the difference. We went from this with only a small amount of shadows to a much greater depth with this one node. You can, of course, add to it the Kardashian of Blender nodes, the fabulous color ramp, and control the spread of the shadow with the white and black in it. A map range can do the same trick too, or a math node on multiply. AO is quite useful in situations where you need to emphasize details like complex models or classic elements. You get the idea, but be careful with it, because it's quite heavy sometimes. That's it. Remember to like and share if you care, and see you in the next one. Stay sharp. Goodbye.